Well, it went from a motion to flying the pride flag at all Catholic schools to flying the flag at the board office only to flying no flag at all. So in this in-depth report, I give you a sense of what the meeting was like. And let's face it, it was pretty combative on the onset. You'll hear some reactions and also a big moment from one of the student trustees who used Monday's meeting to do a very brave thing. There was quite a bit of this. I appeal that ruling. Point of clarification. Uh, but, but, point sorry. of order. Mr. Chair, do you Chair, have, you, do you have a point of order? Question. And this. I would like to um, put forth a motion to amend. I'd like to make an amendment. I'd like to make a friendly amendment, please. At the Halton Catholic District School Board special meeting Monday night, tabled by Burlington trustee Brenda Agnew, the motion would have allowed raising the pride flags at schools and safe space posters in classrooms. Before this motion could be debated and voted on, though, Halton Hills trustee Janet O'Hearn Zarnoda moved to make a change to the motion that excluded the flying of the pride flags, but imposed mandatory training for senior staff on the Catholic school teaching on loving and accompanying students who identify as 2SL GBTQ+. This motion eventually passed, leaving PFLAG Halton co-lead Whitney Ross feeling frustrated and disheartened. The, the obstructionist behavior that uh, sort of emerged from the onset and the attempts to restrict or challenge the motion or the meeting itself on every technical and procedural matter was very frustrating for us. We really wanted to get that motion read so that the board had to vote on it. We wanted them on record that they were refusing to fly the flag. And we eventually did get that. But it was incredibly disheartening to see that the pride flag was completely removed from the motion and the motion that ended up getting voted in, it does not look anything like the original, nor does it uh, conform to or hold up the original's intent. There were several attempts to kill the motion completely or make amendments by Burlington trustee Tim O'Brien. Be it resolved that only the Canadian flag will fly at any of the schools of the Halton Catholic District School Board as well as the Catholic Education Center. Nicole Hotchkiss, the student who inspired the motion to fly the flag, watched the live stream. They say these attempts by O'Brien were repulsive and clearly sends a message. We can't call it something through a Catholic lens. We can't say it's Catholic values. At this point, it's blatant homophobia and transphobia. Um, to remove the entire motion is to say there was no issue in the first place, which clearly there is because 16,000 votes, I think we're over 17,000 votes now on a signature support from an Olympian support from the Levy family. There's many people who think this is an important issue and to completely disregard that and what queer students are going through, I think is a statement on his behalf to say he does not care. Now, one of the most emotional moments of the night came from student trustee Kirsten Kelly, who publicly outed themselves in their last ditch effort to convince the board to at least allow the pride flag to fly at the Catholic Education Center. Today, I speak as an advocate. I speak as a student leader and I speak as a, 2S, uh, a member of the 2S LGBTQ plus community. Does this make me lesser part of our Catholic community? As a devout Catholic, I have learned to love myself and my identity through God's message of love and hope, a message more powerful than any hatred or bigotry. To support this motion is to act in the way that Jesus has preached from his birth in Bethlehem, his life in Jerusalem, and until his divine death and resurrection in Golgotha. That love and compassion is stronger and above all else. Jesus was a unifying force who has preached about love and equity, and Pride Month is just that. And although Kelly did not get their wish, Kelly says they do not regret announcing they are part of the 2SL GBTQ plus community. Um, because I want students younger than myself to look up to someone I needed when I was younger. I want students to know that there is someone a part of the community who can speak out on their behalf. I want people who are allies to know that someone such as myself was able to make it this far despite bigotry and hatred and that I can be a Catholic, I can be a student leader, I can be an achieving student in my school and I can be an advocate and a 2SLGBTQ plus member without any sort of conflict between those identities. 
Now, I did reach out to trustee Tim O'Brien and offered him an opportunity to speak to his actions at the meeting, but he has yet to return my requests. Meanwhile, there has been an outpouring of support for 2SLGBTQ plus staff and students in the Catholic Board on social media through hashtag fly the flag, including posts from members of the Halton District School Board who say they are proud to raise the rainbow flag during Pride Month. PFLAG Halton has said that plans are in the works to ensure that on June 1st we will see many Pride flags flying in and around the Halton Catholic District School Board.